welcome to my annual things that will happen in the upcoming year video. This time last year, 50% of my predictions happened, like the SeaWorld Parks will open two new coasters in 2024, and no new RMC conversions will be announced in 2023, and of course, Top Thrill Dragster will get a complete retheme to go along with an enormous spike. Without further ado, here are 25 things that I predict will happen in 2024. Number 25, SNS will announce another new Axis coaster, but this time it's a much larger version. The company just announced their first Axis coaster that's going to be opening in 2024, and it looks really cool. The only problem is that it's very short. Though, the good news is you actually go around this layout twice throughout the ride, so it does make up for that. With that said, I think in 2024, SNS is going to announce a much larger version of this, quite possibly the one we see in the renderings for the Axis Coaster to some park. As for which park, that could be anyone's guess. Number 24, Intimidator 305 at King's Dominion will get a complete retheme and new color scheme. Now I know there's been rumors going around this for quite some time now, but I really feel as if 2024 will be the year that King's Dominion announces this to go along with a brand new B&M wing coaster that's going to be opening up on the volcano plot of land in 2025. I predict that King's Dominion's going to have a huge year in 2024 when it comes to announcing new things in 2025. Number 23, Kenny Wood's Steel Curtain's going to have another year full of downtime. I don't know what it is about this coaster, but Kenny Wood can't seem to figure it out, neither can SNS, and now I'm starting to wonder just how long will this coaster be around for, at least in this version of it. Which is a shame because Steel Curtain, even though it's themed to the Ugly Steelers, is a fantastic coaster. So hopefully, Kenny Wood can figure it out. I just don't think 2024 is going to be that year. Number 22, Zamperla will announce a new major coaster coming to a park here in America. Now we already know that they're all about reimagining coasters, and they've already done this twice now. But I feel as if this is going to be a new ground up coaster, most likely the double launch coaster that they're already promoting. So that coaster looks really good and I can think of around 10 to 12 parks here in America that could definitely benefit from a ride like that. Back to SNS for number 21 because they're finally going to sell one of their spin shot tower attractions. Now this concept has been on the market now for about 3 years and we've yet to see a park purchase one. And the big question is, why? Because these things look awesome and they make for a brand new attraction that costs very little money because any existing SNS tower can be converted into the spin shot. So I'm shocked a park has not done this yet. However, 2024 will be that year. Number 20, the new Six Flags will sell off a few parks. I'm thinking Darien Lake, Possibly Six Flags America, Frontier City, La Ronde, and maybe Discovery Kingdom or Great America. Obviously, Great America is probably going to be closing sooner now, but there's a lot of interesting pieces to this. I do not think the parks will get sold for the land. I think they'll get sold off to another theme park operator. For example, Persian Entertainment would be perfect for Frontier City. Number 19. Top Thrill 2 will feature a single rider line which will help greatly with capacity. With only offering 3 trains with 20 riders each, capacity is one of the biggest concerns when it comes to the all new Top Thrill 2 opening up at Cedar Point in 2024. And by having a single rider line for Top Thrill 2 will do the park wonders when it comes to capacity. Number 18. Six Flags Magic Mountain will announce a brand new major coaster that's opening in 2025. Now even though Magic Mountain opened up Wonder Woman in 22, by Magic Mountain standards this park is definitely due for a new coaster and 2025 will be that year. As far as what type of coaster, I'm working on a video about that as we speak so you do not want to miss out on that so make sure you click that subscribe button. I also predict that Magic Mountain will have a much better year in 2024 than the park had in 2023 as far as rides being closed. 
Number 17, Carowinds will get a new park president. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that Carowinds is not a very good park this year in a lot of ways. It's taken a huge step back and all things are pointing to the park president. I'm sorry, Carowinds, I love you, but the park president has got to go and we need better management for 2024. Number 16, Silver Dollar City will announce their first ever resort. Now we know Dollywood has Dream More and Heartsong Lodge, but Silver Dollar City does not offer any on-site hotels or resorts. So this right here will be huge for this park, especially with Fire in the Hole opening up in 2024 and a promising future of Silver Dollar City. And I can see the hotel opening up with around 250 rooms with the grand opening date sometime in the second quarter of 2026. Number 15. Dollywood will announce a brand new flat ride for the park. I personally hope it's a Star Flyer. I really think that would be the best type of flat ride that Dollywood could add just for the views of the park and the Smoky Mountains in the distance. I also predict we're going to see a water slide added to Splash Country for the 2025 season. This is one of the best water parks in the country and they're past due for their next major attraction and I really feel like 2025 will be that year. Number 14, Fun Spot Orlando will announce a brand new RMC Singer Rail Coaster opening up in 2025. It's pretty clear that Fun Spot really enjoys working with RMC and that's great for all of us. And I think in order to kind of combat the buzz around Epic Universe opening up in 2025, that by offering Florida's only single rail coaster really has a nice marketing pull to it. And I really feel like this coaster will be larger than Wonder Woman at Magic Mountain. Number 13, Hyperia at Thor Park will become one of the wildest coasters in the world and skyrocket up people's rankings. Seriously, job well done Mach because this ride looks phenomenal. Though it's short, it looks insane. And to tie into that prediction, we will also see a brand new Mach Hyper get announced in 2024 to another park in the world because the world could definitely benefit from more Mach Hyper coasters. Number 12, Six Flags America will announce a brand new roller coaster. Oh crap, wrong script. Sorry about that because Six Flags America is going to announce new trash cans for the 2025 season. No, in all seriousness, I think they'll add a new flat ride potentially, but probably not a coaster. But the real number 12 is the current Cedar Fair Parks will announce three new coasters that's going to open up for the 2025 season. And I think that Kings Dominion, Valley Fair, and Kings Island all have the best chance at getting coasters for the 2025 season. Number 11, Hershey Park will announce a brand new thrill ride of some kind. And I would love to see an SNS Scream and Swing or a Star Flyer make its way to Hershey Park. Both of these rides would do so well for Hershey and really improve their capacity when it comes to flat rides. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you love theme park content, then all I ask that you do is please give this video a like. That is by far the best way you can help support the channel. With that, I also hope you consider becoming the newest theme park prediction subscriber. Number 10, Intamin will announce 10 new roller coasters for the 2025 season. I really feel like 2024 is going to be a very busy year for Intamin announcing new coasters all over the world. Number 9, RMC will announce their first ever Wild Moose opening up at a park. Not only do these coasters look like a ton of fun, they're also affordable and they don't take up a huge footprint either. Now more on RMC in a minute that you're not going to want to miss. Number 8, Germany's Hansa Park will announce their first new major coaster since opening Karnen, the Gerslauer Hypercoaster, which opened up in 2015. Now, if you don't know much about Hansa Park, then do yourself a favor and do some research on it because it's such an interesting park that offers some great rides and fantastic theming. And I've heard nothing but great things about Karnen. Number seven, Kings Island will start teasing the Vortex replacement. Yes, it's about time, but I do believe that 2025 could be Kings Island's year. 
Grab your tissues because number six, Knott's Berry Farm will announce the surprising removal of Montezuma's Revenge. I'm sorry to say it, I don't want it to happen, but I just feel like the park is hiding something and there's more issues with this coaster than originally thought. And since Cedar Fair is very cheap right now, especially with this merger, that they're just gonna pull the plug on the coaster, unfortunately. Number five, Busch Gardens Tampa will remove Falcon's Fury, which would also happen on the 10 year anniversary of the 335 foot tall drop tower ride that never really seems to want to cooperate for Busch Gardens Tampa. Now it's time to get into the really good stuff. Number four, a park will announce a brand new Intamin vertical launch coaster. Now currently, there's only one of these in operation and it's out in Dubai and it's indoors and rather short. But I really feel like Intamin's going to announce that a park is gonna open up one of these major models here in 2025. And judging by these concept layouts, Intamin is really pulling out all the stops when it comes to creativity for these layouts and I'm all here for it. Movie Park Germany will announce that they're finally gonna RMC Bandit. Now, if you're not familiar with this wooden coaster, well, it opened up in 1999 and it was built by RCCA, Roller Coaster Corporation of America. So you know it's already bad. And this ride looks bad, but RMC can really come in here and do some great things with it. Number two, Busch Gardens Williamsburg will announce a brand new record-breaking coaster that's gonna open up in 2025. But the big question is, what type of coaster? Will it be a brand new Intamin shuttle coaster or an RMC hybrid coaster or something else entirely? Either way, I predict that 2025 is gonna be a huge year for the Williamsburg Park. And finally, number one, RMC will officially announce their RMC T-Rex coaster concept. I know, laugh right now at me if you want, but I'm very convinced that they're at least going to show us a teaser of the official ride itself. Maybe a new layout, or the restraints, or the train, or officially announce the coaster altogether. Now I know what you're thinking is that I'm saying it again, and yes, I really feel as if 2024 is that year. And while I know the comments are going to blow up with Brandon, you're crazy, it's never going to happen, stop making these foolish predictions, all I have to say is let's just see where we are a year from now, because I think you're going to be very surprised. Now, if you like being intimidated on coasters, then this video right here is definitely for you. And I want to know how many of these coasters that you've been on. Now, I want to know what your predictions are that will happen in 2024. Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.